Do 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 do. Wow, this artist is amazing. How many followers does he have? Wait, I can't be right. Hey guys, I'm Comet Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today we are talking about my personal top ten favorite furry artists. Furry artists are people who make anthropomorphic animals as art every day. Well, not every day because they have a life, but. Yeah, that's what they're most well known for. Making the cute animals. Some of these artists on my list will be big names that a fair number of you might already know, while others are going to be so obscure you'd be amazed how many rocks I had to turn over to find them. And as a quick disclaimer, I don't know any artists personally, and they're not in any particular order on my list. Are you ready? Let's find out. Some of these artists. Number one on my list is Ohana Art. They're a digital cartoony style artist. Their outlines are soft, and in my opinion, the colors they choose flows really well. And even if the colors traditionally clash with one another, the way they position the colors in the piece itself, I feel like it does very well. Their details are Pretty amazing looking, if you ask me. Well, then again, this is my list, so you kind of have to listen to my opinion on this matter. They're a fairly unknown artist, but they do some amazing art nonetheless. Number two on my list is a bigger artist that goes by the name of Flash Lioness of Arm for Affinity. This is an artist I have a debate on if they're traditional or digital. I see them constantly putting out white seeds or your characters here, and the designs they did with them are pretty cool. It looks like a painting style, if you get what I mean. They have soft outlines with large eyes. Colors it tends to be bright, even with a more muted color palette character. They make them stand out fairly well. They will also take, take the time to take pictures of animals that they might find around on the internet and draw them into their unique style with a sketchy look to them outline wise as well as fun little expressions on their faces. Number three on my list is another fairly unknown artist called Fuzzy Paw. They are primarily a digital artist with a cartoony feel. Their art style is an odd mix of soft looks but hard outlines. What do I mean by that? I mean, the outlines are obvious. However, the overall feel of the picture, from color choices and positioning and style and all that jazz, gives it a soft feel. Even when it's just a quote unquote black and white piece, if you can get a decent feel for the colors of the character in the piece. In my opinion, anyway. Next one on my list is Tumbari John. This guy is a highly detailed, I'm going to say digital because I highly doubt that they could do that color pattern or to that detail in their characters they make. Their bread and butter is apparently creating creatures for adoptables. These guys give me some serious Power Ranger vibes and combine it with their comic booky style, it always reminds me of the big bad Beetleborgs. You honestly have no idea how difficult that was for me to say without going into the theme song. For those of you who have never seen a Power Ranger show, these are big old monster type characters that look like they would take on the Avengers or the Justice League and give them a run for their money. Probably practicing some type of martial arts along the way. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Next one on my list is Finny Artwork. I keep wanting to say finery artwork, but that'd be wrong. They are a digital cartoony artist with super cute design. When I first got to know them, they were doing adoptables at their mainstay. Their adoptables were primarily being done through base art that they got a hold of. But then they put their own unique spin on them. I feel in, in the base art. Recently on their Fur Affinity page, it looks like they have been moving away from the adoptables and focusing on their unique style, character, their development, with a fairly 
anime-ish feel, if you know what I mean. Number six on my list is Bonnie Fosco. They're a digital artist with a realistic style. They have super detailed backgrounds, beautiful shading, and their attention to detail is... Wow! I wish I had that attention to detail. Honestly, I do. Number seven on my list is Imonica. This one is a digital cartoony artist. Amazing soft backgrounds. What do I mean by that? Well, you see... Even if the backgrounds are more or less blurry, they're still uh, amazing to look at. A city in the distance? Sure, why not? That wouldn't be hard-lined. And if you were looking at it in real life, it'd be kind of blurry. Color patterns are so beautiful. The art style flows fairly well. They do have some traditional art on their page, but they're primarily digital. The next artist on my list is Terian, a digital cartoony style artist with heavy anime vibes. What do I mean by that? Well, I feel like their drawings would fit well in a manga or anime. They have a habit of gender bending in traditional male characters like this is Robin Hood into a beautiful fixin. For those of you who do not know, a fixin is a female fox. I would show their personal characters, but they asked me not to. So respect the artist's decisions. Number nine on my list is Cadman T. They're a traditional realistic artist. If you're familiar with the term, less is more, then that would describe this artist to a T. Even though their characters are all just really outlines with some vague coloring here and there, they're still highly detailed. You don't have to go in looking at their art to ask where's all the color. Uh, without the color, this character won't stand out. When they prove otherwise. Easily making them one of my favorite artists when I see their art come out. And the final artist on my list is Carnival. They're a cartoony digital artist. Ah, oh, there's a lot of those on this list. With super bright color palette. Every time you see their art come out, uh, they're really recognizable. Even with hard based colors or lines, it has almost that liquid feel to it. If you know what I mean. In fact, a uh, number of their art, at least for their doodles, are almost a uh, slime in nature. And they, quite frankly, made some of the most cute anamorphic bananas I have ever seen. In case you ever thought, and in case you thought the banana picture would look familiar, that's because I used it in another one of my videos. Pinned in the comments below. Check it out later. Okay? Okay? Okay. So, how many of these artists did you know before this list? Let me know in the comments below. And as well, tell me some of your favorite artists. I'd love to check them out. Big shout out to all the artists who let me use their art in my video. Links to each and every one of them will be in the description below. Be sure to check them out later. But that being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notification when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other very friendos you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time. Johnny.